what's the difference between asteroids and comets? Join the 321 Science team as we explore new views about just how different, or how alike, these small bodies are. There are many objects in the solar system. How do astronomers tell one from another? We have planets and dwarf planets which orbit the sun, moons which orbit planets, and small bodies we call asteroids and comets. Scientists classify these objects based on their locations, characteristics, and behavior. 19th and 20th century observations indicated that comets and asteroids were different. Comets looked fuzzy. Asteroids looked point-like. As scientists learned more about these objects with advanced telescopes, instruments, and space missions, the solar system gets more complicated, and differences fade. But to start, let's look at traditional differences that classified one object as an asteroid and one as a comet. Asteroids are rocks in space, mostly rock and iron, a little ice for some. They are primitive objects, although some melted and processed their material. Comets were called dirty snowballs, mostly ice, but up to an equal amount of rock, or dust. They remained frozen and pristine in the deep freeze of the outer solar system. The fundamental difference between asteroids and comets is where they've spent most of the last 4.5 billion years in the solar system. Most asteroids reside in the asteroid belt, between Mars and Jupiter, with some in smaller orbits nearer Earth. Scientists designate two reservoirs for comets. They observe trans-Neptunian objects, located beyond the orbit of Neptune, and theorize the Oort cloud, a spherical reservoir from a few AU to thousands of AU from the Sun. In general, asteroids' orbits remain roughly circular, mostly stable over the life of the solar system, keeping millions of these objects between the Sun and Jupiter. The comets we observe are known for their highly elliptical orbits that can extend beyond Jupiter, and these orbits can be highly inclined from the plane of the solar system, whereas asteroids' orbits usually are not. Both asteroids and comets can leave their long-term orbits in reservoirs due to perturbations and close encounters. Asteroids in the asteroid belt can become near-Earth objects, or asteroids, when planets or collisions perturb them. Just like with asteroids, close encounters with planets or distant stars can send comets careening into the inner solar system. Comets become active bodies that develop a coma and tails as they approach close enough to the sun to sublimate water and other volatile compounds on their surface. Asteroids do not develop a coma, or do they? In 2013, the Hubble Space Telescope observed an asteroid exhibiting comet-like behavior, ejecting dust and perhaps ice from its surface. On the other hand, a comet's activity can decrease after several passes into the inner solar system, making it look more like an asteroid. And what of their origins in different parts of the solar system? That distinction is looking fuzzier also. While simple theory states that a sharp boundary existed in the solar system between rock and ice, scientists think that planets stirred up the system and objects moved around. The Stardust mission to Comet Vilt-2 provided samples that supported the theories formulated from the simulations and meteorite studies. It's more an asteroid-comet continuum than distinct classes of objects. Upcoming missions are set to explore the details of the members of the continuum. After a journey that included visits to asteroids and a long hibernation to conserve fuel, the Rosetta spacecraft arrived at Comet 67P churyumov gerasimenko in August 2014 to begin its detailed study. In 2018, OSIRIS-REx will reach the carbonaceous asteroid Bennu, which it will map, characterize, and sample. For more information about asteroids, comets, and OSIRIS-REx, click on the links. This video is an OSIRIS-REx production. OSIRIS-REx is a partnership of the University of Arizona, NASA Goddard Space Flight Center, and Lockheed Martin.